day and spread its spores around. That ain't too bad. A little past brown. Not my knife. Oh, here, this is a smooth chanterelle. I'm using my thumbnails and my... Yeah, that's funny that I recognized that they were just a little bit different and they're more smooth on the underside. just have to keep your eyes open and try not to overlook them because often you'll find them hiding underneath leaves and pine straw and twigs and things like that. So be on the lookout. You know why? She um she learned beliefs because that's what they have over in her grandparents' old country. So my nana, her mother, is from Lithuania. Lithuania. And um and Belitz is what they harvest over there. There's Belitz everywhere growing over there, and that is like the number one foraged mushroom in Russia and Lithuania and the Baltic areas and everything. So that's why it was something that I learned from a very young age. Plus they're easy to identify because they have the pores on the bottom instead of gills that automatically puts them into the Belitz family. And then um, there are no poisonous Belitz at all. But you can taste test them on the tip of your tongue without eating a piece, just taste it and see if it's bitter or not. And if it's not bitter, it's edible. That's like the easiest identifiable characteristic I've ever known. So that's where I started foraging. Here's one. Uh, I think this is the red yellow bully actually. I've seen this quite a bit in my mushroom identification groups. See it's staining blue really fast. Sometimes that's a warning sign that the bleat is not any good. Sometimes it's not always true. And I just touch it to my tongue. It's slightly bitter, and because of the blue staining, I'm gonna avoid eating it. But it could be one of the good ones, because it's yellow underneath, isn't it? And there's a yellow. Oh, that's a pretty one. Let me see your knife. Something's been eating it. Those are chew marks from an animal, critter. I, I'm gonna take it, because I think this might actually be the one that breaks the rule about the blue staining. Yeah, yellow and red, and it's a double. It's 
really cool and the teeth marks where a squirrel or something has been eating it. So that's a good sign. It's really pretty. That's how Gandanamus pops up. Wow. See it? And these little chanterelles, y'all, they're everywhere. I am so tickled right now, y'all. They're showing up really great uh, in contrast to the floor here. I bet. You can, you can see them. You have to be extremely careful where you step because these little guys are tiny. But they, they show up. My eyes can spot them fairly, fairly well. I don't know how well you guys can see it on the camera, but if you just pay close attention, you see all these little specks of red and orange, and they're there. They're all over the place. now and take a look at our haul for today it's pretty exciting that is a pretty basket of mushrooms how hard was it to stop how hard was it to come out of the woods oh like I could have spent the rest of the night in the woods hunting mushrooms for sure we could have we could have <laughs> kept going for a long time finding way more mushrooms but we are at a friend, so we should probably get back up there. Cause we might want to visit a little bit first. They, they are watching our kids, so. <laughs> yeah, we should probably go check on them. Yeah. But, I mean, how do you drag me away from this, y'all? You know what makes me happy. You know it's the shrooms that make me happy. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to our channel. Share our videos. And come back for more. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.